The thing about street photography is it looks easy, but it, it's not easy. You have to take the ordinary, the mundane, you have to take the things between heartbeats and take the soul that you see in those and make it show in the frame. We need to be able to edit it in the way that best conveys what we saw, what we felt when we were looking at it. That's the thing about street photography. It's not always the perfect light. Sometimes it's beautiful and amazing like this. Other times it's harsh and it's a moment in time that you have to capture. And having the right edit, the right colors, that's what takes what we feel here when we're shooting the streets, that magic that is sometimes you take the photo and you think, oh, it's gonna be great, and then it's not. If, if you've ever done streets and photo walks and things like that, you've gone out and you've seen these cool things that seemed exciting and amazing, maybe new places, and when you came back and you looked at the photos, they just didn't quite convey it. Less about, hey, we need to fix photos we did wrong, and more about, we need tools, we need colors that bring out what we saw in those photos. This is like, this goes down and down. I wonder how far we can go down. So I've spent the last year or so formulating, experimenting. I've spent the past three years or so really pushing myself in street photography because it challenges every part of our photography. But I realized that we need something a little different when we edit these kind of moments. And I can be looking for that pastel light airiness or I can be in a dark night and want something maybe with those blue undertones or warm and, and orange and gold or maybe I'm on a rainy day and I want I want that drama of the rainy day but I want to bring out the highlights and mix it in such a way that it, it just pops that it just works. There's something magical about color street photography whether you're pulling in and doing kind of an art deco look or something that's a bit more subtle and film like because you're going to step into streetist and you're just going to start browsing over these recipes that were tested and designed on street photos then you can go to the mods included in streetist that focus on push and pull and detail and then if you want to go further streetist also includes mod kit and mod kit is our new mod pack that spans and if you just want to manipulate and go further with any edit in the end it's not that you shouldn't use your sliders manually it's that you should have the tools because you're trying things that are much more complex and much more of them than you would if if you just do a manual edit you'll never try that many subtleties and variables i think street photography challenges us because we not only have to practice looking at people, pointing the camera, not being intimidated, but also seeing details. So whether it's looking for faces and souls and characters, or whether it's capturing places and culture, we have to see more and we have to see different. And I think it makes us better as photographers. What I love about Streetis and what you're gonna love about Streetis is it's something different. It's the things that you see and make you raise the camera, that make you say, I want to convey what I'm feeling right now and preserve that moment. I'm Gavin Syme, and this is Streetist.